The Gowanus Darkroom is a community darkroom in Brooklyn. Um, we're in the Gowanus neighborhood. It's an in, we're an endangered species. Uh, we started building and collecting equipment and everything last year around October and uh, we officially opened up for business uh, February 13th so it's been open for about four and a half months or so. My name is Jonathan Rogers and I'm 26 and I was the co-founder and I run the Gowanus Darkroom with my partner Rachel Jun. We have about 10 members right now uh, which is really nice. The kind of people who, who really sort of continue to, to drive the industry forward and not necessarily completely go completely uh, extinct, you know. But, uh, you know, the more exposure there is for analog photography, the better it is for companies to continue making equipment. There's really no reason why one shouldn't uh, take photos of, with digital cameras. Digital cameras are really good, especially technology is increasing all the time. But uh, it's a different process. And uh, it's just um, the process of developing film and printing myself is something that I really enjoy doing. So uh, for me, it's not one versus the other. It's more of an either or for me. So do you consider yourself maybe like an analog photography activist? Not so much an activist, I think more, you know, not necessarily to that point. I mean, I, I'm more of an enthusiast, but um, I think being an enthusiast in analog photography, you do kind of get that, you, you still do have to be a little bit of an activist. Because there is a, there is a push to, to go and make everything digital nowadays. And, uh, I don't, I, I just think that that's really sad. So maybe I am an activist. The look of film, when you start doing it, you start to see it and, uh, and then you can't really go back. You have a much better, uh, you have a much bigger connection to it. You know, you have, um, you see it happening, you see the process, you have control over it. And uh, I think with digital, uh, even if you're using your camera on manual or something, you still have it automated. You know, it, you take a picture and it just pops up and then it's on your computer and then you leave it to a digital printer to, to print it. You know, and there's kind of this whole, there's a lot of magic happening that you don't really see. You know, and I think um, even though it takes a lot longer, you know, a lot more chemicals and equipment and everything to develop film and print your own photographs, so you, put it in you here? see it happening right in front of you. Can I get the, uh, all of the chemicals? Take this out. Get this guy. So that's that. It's a photograph. The old fashioned way. I'm Veronica Hodgkinson. Um, and I am what you might call um, an experimental photographer in some ways. Well, some of the work that I've been doing is called chemograms, and it's where I take black and white photographic paper and um, using a resist like glue or sticky tape or in some cases varnish, um, I apply that to the paper and then by dipping it in fixer and developer, I can create all these different patterns and colours. You know, like, it depends on the strength of the chemistry, the temperature of the water, um, how humid it is out here, um, how long the paper's been exposed to light, 
how old the paper is. This paper expired in 1977, so you know. I think that um, digital has actually sort of helped spur the analog along a bit. I mean, there's, I wouldn't say a backlash, but it's just that people have sort of gone like, hey, look, I can sit in front of a computer all day, or I can be developing prints and playing around with it that way. You can, you know, I enjoy being up on my feet and walking around and trying different things. And, um, mm -hmm. and I've been brought up with the smell of, um, my father would had a dark room when I was little, so I'm used to the smell of chemistry, so, you know, um, it's a bit of nostalgia for me. photography class at school and I fell in love with it so I got my membership today. Oh I'm so excited. It's like the most meditative experience of my day. You know we, we heard there was a, a dark room in the city that closed down uh, or, a, or a number of them and so we're kind of thinking wouldn't it be cool to start a dark room? So it's kind of the opposite. You see the Starbucks popping up. Let's open a Starbucks, you know. But in this case, you're like, dark rooms are closing. Let's start a dark room. It's kind of a Kevin Costner moment, you know. It's like if we build it, they will come. <laughs> 